are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich, at the Jacklich Law Group. <laughs> Evening from College Park. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Posner. You can see the scoreboard in the background. Maryland 11 6. They pull away late. Bruce, I assume you like what you saw tonight. Yeah, they were. I thought they were excellent tonight. Again, it's like you don't know who the offensive star is going to be tonight. It was DK for sure. He was special. Three goals and an assist. Chorus. But I thought the defense was miraculous, didn't you, Wayne? Between, the between Logan, what do you have? What do you say? 15? You can check your scoreboard. It was a difference maker. He looked like Logan McNanny. That's what we said when we interviewed him after the game. He's running up the field with the ball. He's breaking the ride. He should have probably taken a shot on goal. He's jumping up and down. He's making plays. And, and as Mason pointed out, even though he's not here, if Weirman and McNanny are on, Maryland's as good as anybody. There's no doubt. The, the Rutgers faceoff guy held his own against Luke. Luke still won. And their goalie, this kid Stoller, was great, or else it would have been a, a blow up. But I thought early in the game was the key. Rutgers came out with a little bit more fire after their big win last week. And you know what? McNanny was great in that first three or four minutes, if you watch it again or if you missed it. But he was great the entire game. And uh, that's why we're eight and three. We clinched either the one seed or two seed. No matter what happens tomorrow, mm -hmm. we have a chance to either win the Big Ten outright or get a share of the title with Hopkins. All but right. what guys, it's Hopkins week. It, and it that's what now. it's all about. Well, well, we got a little bit more about this game. And we'll be back after this word from Rick Jacklich and from Viner Forgates. Terps win, we're happy. We'll be back in a moment. Since 1991, Viner Forgates has completed thousands of projects across the D.C. metro area and around the globe. Use Viner Forgates for your next IT project. Hey, Rick Jackson, who's your favorite number one term? Stefan Diggs, DJ Moore. Really? Now, come on, you know, Rakeem Jarrett's always been my favorite number one. Hey, Rock Jarrett, who's your number one? The Rick Jacklin's Law Group. Why? Awesome trial results, unbelievable customer service. Plus, you've taken great care of my mom over the last 20 years. Just some of the reasons that the Jacklis Law Group has been voted the number one personal injury trial firm in the entire USA. If you're hurt, call the Big Dogs. 855-BIG-DOG-1. Baby, DK was in the house, all right? Turp Talk post game rolls on, Bruce, with Three Daniel goals, Kelly. What a sense. You were hot tonight. What was it? You just felt it tonight, or you were open, or what What happened tonight? Yeah, I felt good. I was seeing the field well. I mean, all the credit goes to my teammates. You know, they get me open, they see me in there, and I just did my job tonight and finished well. Bruce, you brought up the Fogo, Maryland, even though they, they didn't get the first few, but Luke starts to dominate. And the one thing that you said you got to do, late in the game, game's still in the balance, he breaks down the middle, he Boom. shoots, he scores. The juice. The juice goal. And, and you know it was over then, right? Yeah, and all of a sudden it becomes really easy for Maryland, they score again. It, it, it's a, just a different game when they get a goal from somebody who's not on offense, basically. Right, right. and they always had a long pole goal, but goal, this kid, Stoller, was great for them, the goal. He, he kid was. from Boys Latin, he was great. But but you know who wasn't? Who Maryland shut down was Knobloch. I mean, Tony up in the booth said, that's your key. I, I guess you got Zapatello to thank for that, but you have Burleigh, so you have Will Schaller. Um, you have Jackson the shorties, Canfield. Still, I, thought, I thought your shorties were great tonight. They, you know, and the sliding was good. It was well timed. Mm -hmm. And look, at the end of the day, eleven to six. We haven't had an easy game like that since Loyola. I'm gonna say easy. Well, an easy ending to a game. A better ending. Maryland. It was look. Maryland had the lead. They get the working margin at seven to four, and then all of a sudden it's seven to six. And, well, and look, you're, you're worried again. And then Maryland closes the door with with Knobloch and Ross, and Ross Scott. They, I mean, they could have come back and taken mm -hmm. this game. But Maryland just stepped up in that fourth quarter. Everybody contributed, and I was glad to see Jack Brennan get it done. All right, the 
and at the end, I really gave us a four goal lead or a five goal, put the five game goal. away. Yeah. That was it. Whatever it was, we put the game away, and they're all cheering for Ajax over there. And, and, and we'll get back to this. So we're going to go and get the press conference. And it's Hopkins week. So I guess after the Maryland press conference on Wednesday, we're going to have a special turf talk just talking about Maryland Hopkins. Can't wait. Do us. We'll have a special edition on the website and on Wayne's Turf, correct? You got it. Right. Good evening from College Park. Great job, man. Go, go, go. Let's 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 go.